the subject is taboo. Everything is fair game for discussion, certainly judging by what we see in magazines and newspapers, and especially those daytime TV talk shows. Despite all this openness, there is one subject, one area, that you almost never hear a word about. And that's going to be the topic of our discussion on today's edition of What About? What About Women's Hair Loss? Hi. My name is Cheryl Harris, and today on What About, we're going to ask the question, what about women's hair loss? You're going to meet women who suffer from hair loss and hear their views on the subject in an incredible group discussion. What we're going to be discussing today is hair loss. Not men's hair loss, which everybody knows about and everybody talks about, but woman's hair loss, which very few people know about and almost no one talks about. Why don't we start with how would you describe your hair loss? I think the best would be to describe it as slow and steady. I've been losing hair now uh, for about 11 years, steadily. Yeah, I was diagnosed with breast cancer about two and a half months ago, so I've known for quite some time that I was going to lose my hair as soon as I started my chemo treatments. I lost my hair in about 30 minutes' time. Mine probably was basically uh, just, you know, abusing it because I used to do uh, the electric roller thing every day, actually like twice a day in the morning for work and then come home, shower, and then when I'd go out at night, I'd, you know, have to shower again and, you know, do my hair. What is the biggest problem that your hair loss has caused you? Anybody? Did it affect the way you felt as a woman? Not, a, the, not the way I feel as a woman, but I feel unattractive. I'm like embarrassed. I feel very self-conscious of my hair. And you know, it's like, it, it, it's just very embarrassing to me. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just totally embarrassing to me. I don't, we don't go out that much. How many of you have tried wigs? Mm -hmm. What was good about a wig and what was not so good about a wig? I have done hair weaving, which is very hard to maintain because it gets, you have to keep tightening it and change the hair from time to time. It takes between two to three months. Uh, plus going to the hairdresser because if you don't have that magic touch to make it look the way a hairdresser would do, you have to go to the hairdresser also. But then again, it's the price we have to pay for the problem we are, we are faced with. They were synthetic and I made mistakes with the first ones. They were either too thick or too hot or the wrong color. And uh, my biggest fear is that I was gonna go out and somebody was gonna know that it would be so obvious that it was wig. Okay, I'd like to know what you think cosmetically acceptable hair is. What exactly does that mean? It's gotta look natural. What do you mean by looking natural? So it's not noticeable. So you can go out in public and not think that everybody's looking at you knowing you're wearing a wig or, or some kind of piece. That it's, it's a perfect look that blends right into your, your own hair texture. And the only way you can get that is through human hair that blends uh, perfectly with your own hair. Okay. It's got to feel good too. It can't feel like you're wearing a hat or something like that. We've been talking about hair loss and we've been talking about how you feel about hair loss. We've talked about some of the solutions you've tried. And now we're about to learn about a new solution. The name of the new solution is the graduated enhancement method. The graduated enhancement method adds just as much hair as you need. No more, no less. In fact, there are different graduated enha enhancement hair replacements to correspond to the various levels of hair loss. In that regard, graduated enhancement is very similar to some of the more advanced men's hair loss solutions. But one thing about this that you can be sure is that graduated enhancement really is a solution for women's hair loss. In fact, it was designed totally with women in mind. The hair is incredibly beautiful. The hair is real human hair. It's inserted into very lightweight, ultra lightweight meshes and screen prosthetics. And we think that once you see what it looks like, you'll all agree that it's really incredible. So there are three ladies in this group, uh, Kathy, Angie, and Arda, who've already had graduated enhancement hair replacement prepared for them. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Kathy and Angie and Arda out of here. 
and they're going to have the graduated enhancement procedure applied. It's going to take a little bit over an hour, so we'll see you later. While the ladies are being made over, I'd like to call your attention to the phone number that should be appearing at the bottom of your screen right now. You'll want to write this number down because this is the number to call to get more information on the fabulous graduated enhancement method you're about to see. Now why would you want to write down a phone number to get information about something you haven't seen yet? Because when you do see graduated enhancement, you're going to be absolutely knocked over by how great it looks. But due to the time limitations of the show, we're not going to be able to give you much detail on how it could actually work for you, given your particular type of hair loss. So to see how terrific graduated enhancement actually looks, stay tuned. But to find out all the facts, call this number and you'll be sent an information packet that tells all. Now, back to Susan. Are you guys ready to see how Angie, Artie, and Kathy look? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to go get them. Oh, Here they are. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Before we go any further, let me tell you a little bit about what you're seeing. The graduated enhancement hair replacement is not a machine-made wig. It's not a one-of-a-kind, one-size-fits-all solution. Each of these women had their own individual hair loss problem. And the graduated enhancement hair replacement that was applied to each of them was designed to make full use of their existing hair, using it as a base upon which to add new hair. Also, it's not a standard wig. And each graduated enhancement procedure can utilize a variety of attachment methods, including semi-permanent attachment methods. It looks beautiful. You look 10 years younger. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Oh, they all look great. I'm just like models. I'm just in awe. I think it looks perfectly natural. You can't, you can't even, you would never know. You would never know if you were to walk out in public. You never know. It looks perfectly natural, beautiful. Yes, they are all real hair, absolutely. I mean, I can touch it myself, and it just feels like hair. It does. It is hair. It's gorgeous, but it just fits your face so perfectly. Oh, what did your husband and children say? They were like in shock, <laughs> in total shock. They, you know, they were just elated over it. They just couldn't believe how beautiful it looked. And how do you feel? I feel great. Well, Angie, is this something you'd like to continue after this oh, meeting? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'd love to see it, but I really... I can, I can just tell it just feels natural. Okay. And what about you, Kathy? What I like most about it is that it's the flexibility. You can change the styles around and, you know, be able to wear it anywhere you like. All right. Now comes the moment of truth. Are you curious about what you look like? We know how you yeah. feel. <laughs> Are you curious, Art, as to why your husband was so extremely, star Extremely, extremely curious. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's gorgeous. You feel bad to yourself? Yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. In your eyes. Oh, my gosh. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. It is my exact color. I never thought they would get the color exactly. It's beautiful. I love it. You want to give it back? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> I'll never get it back now. You're right. It's gorgeous. Oh, my. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, it's beautiful. Really. So I love it. Well, well, that was quite a revealing and rewarding glimpse into some real women who cope with the real problems of women's hair loss. To get more information on graduated enhancement, you just have to call the number that's been running below me here, and an information packet will be sent to you right away. There's no obligation and nothing to buy, and the information is completely confidential. So why not answer the questions that you have and find out more about what graduated enhancement can do for you? You can call right now, no matter what the hour, and someone will answer the phone and send you your graduated enhancement method information packet right away. That's all the time we have for today, so I thank you for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed our show. And I hope you make that call. Goodbye, and be well.